Thunderdome Boxing Talk, Anthony here. Alright, um, this is, like, the moment of truth. Alright, uh, you see a lot of people interviewing certain people, uh, for this Manny Pacquiao Floyd Mayweather fight, and they give their pick, and it's so and so. Um, this video revolves around Chop Chop Corley and the interview of his truthful opinion about the fight. Uh, and he even says that. Truthfully? Do you want my true answer? Alright, so let me play this clip real for you. Uh, real quick for you. Then, we'll talk about it. Alright? Check this out. And shout out to Kenny Lopez uh, for digging up this gem. Unboxing. I have Chop Chop Corley trapped at the airport so he can't go anywhere. <laughs> and I thought of another question to ask him. Based on last night's fight, what do you think of Manny's chances against Mayweather? Truthfully. Truth. Floyd don't want no part of that pack. That's the truth. Really? Now, a lot of people are saying Manny had a horrible performance well, listen, against listen. Truth. Floyd don't want no part of that pack. That's Hold on. Based on last night's fight, what do you yeah, think of Manny's too. chances against Mayweather? Truthfully. Truth. Floyd don't want no part of that pack. That's the truth. Really? Now, a lot of people are saying Manny had a horrible performance against Shane. It wasn't horrible. Style makes fights. Floyd would try to fight the same fight that Shane fought last night. But Floyd don't have the punching pride that Shane Mosey had. It's the truth. You don't want no part of Manny Pacquiao. That's why the fight is not going to happen. You heard it from Chop Chop. All right, you hear that. You're hearing a lot of these recent interviews with Chop Chop saying Floyd's going to uh, demolish him, you know, dominate him, knock him out. Uh, you got to realize he's on Floyd's payroll at the moment. Um, you know, he takes care of a lot of family members. Um, you know, he needs that bread. Flat out, you know, and Corley's a, a good dude, you know, uh, nothing against Corley, you know, uh, this is from, the, he, he was the sparring partner for Shane Mosley when Shane fought uh, Manny Pacquiao, okay, they came up, Nazim Richardson came up with, you know, like, the game plan for Manny Pacquiao, uh, and he, in the beginning of this interview, which I will leave a link to in the description box so you can watch it, you know, it's very quick, it's like five minutes, uh, they talk about a lot of stuff, you know, he said that Shane's legs were great, training camp was great, uh, he said that people think Shane's washed up, but believe me, he's not, um, it's just styles make fights, he was great in the gym, you know, just styles make fights, and he couldn't do anything against, uh, Manny Pacquiao, <clears throat> Also, um, you know, okay, so the, the, he was the sparring partner for Shane, like I said, you know. Uh, this is after the fight, after, obviously, after uh, Manny won. You know, he's at the airport getting ready to leave from, you know, wherever, go back home uh, <clears throat> from uh, On the Grind, caught up, caught up with him. Shout out to On the Grind uh, for getting this interview back in the day. And, um, you know, he goes on, he says his exact words were, Do you, truthfully, truthfully, you want my truthful answer? She's like, yeah, of course, your truthful answer. He says, Floyd wants no part of that Pac-Man. And she's like, what? And I, people were actually criticizing Manny for his performance last night. He goes, no, it wasn't an awful performance. It's styles make fights, you know. Plus, Shane was on the back foot most of the night and just trying to survive, you know. Um, and he's like, you know, he says it again. Trust me, Floyd wants no parts of the Pac-Man. Uh, Corley's brought in. To, to Floyd's camp basically every time he uh, fights a southpaw. You know, they're pretty close. Um, and, uh, you know, he knows Floyd better than anyone. You know, boxers-wise, you know, for boxer boxing-wise. Not as, as good as his family, of course. I'm just saying, like, the, the guys that, you know, he sh Floyd is trained with. Uh, Corley's his number one dude, you know, his go-to guy. Um, he's telling you, 
Floyd wants no part of the Pacquiao man, of the Pac-Man, of Pacquiao. Uh, he said Shane would, or Floyd would try to fight the exact same fight Shane tried to fight because that is what you do, uh, and especially with the style that you know Shane has and Floyd has. You know, they have different styles, but they would both have to do the same thing. Uh, even in my video, I actually, bef before I even saw this video and thought about the Shane fight, um, in my video on how Floyd Mayweather can beat Manny Pacquiao, where I give you ways and, like, how, how I think if he would beat him, how he would have to do it, um, it's doing that, you know, turning him to the left, to his left, to Manny's left, and, uh... It's a little bit harder than it sounds, you know. Uh, Shane was old, but couldn't do it for one second. Uh, Floyd is older, and he's not going to be able to do it either. Corley knows him. And this, when he said this, this is when Floyd was in his prime, okay, in his prime. Um, and he's saying, right? Floyd couldn't do it either. Floyd can't do what he needs to do to beat Manny. Um, he said he'll try to do the same thing, and it won't work. You know, And he's a southpaw. He knows damn well. And he said, why? He said, because the speed, the power, uh, angles, you know, footwork, um, the, the timing, everything. You know, he's not... He, He's, he's going to be like, you know, clueless. He's uh, It's going to be a pretty similar to, to Pacquiao and Shane when you think about it. Uh, he's going to put up a better fight, but he's probably going to feel, feel something, get clipped, get hit with a bunch of shots, maybe even go down, and then hit that back foot and just try and survive. You know, and hopefully, you know, uh, Manny will get reckless thinking he got Floyd, and maybe try to get a lucky KO uh, if Manny stays, you know, disciplined and intelligent and doesn't get reckless, he can just coast to a decision. Um, you know, uh, Corley even said he wants no part of Pacquiao, and that's why the fight will never happen. Okay, so he's saying right there, the fight ain't happening because Floyd don't want it. All right, so you got to remember all of them times, like years, since we were waiting for this fight and it never happened and everyone said Floyd's making excuses. You know, this is actually one of Floyd's friends. You know, Corley is a friend, uh, one of, you know, a few friends that Floyd really has. Um, and he's saying, you know, the, the, the fight will never happen because Floyd don't want it because Floyd can't beat him. Uh, meaning, you know, he's ducking him. Um, and that's the reason why the fight never happened. If Floyd wanted the fight at any point in time, that fight would have been made. All right, people try, we've, people have tried to explain this so many times, and some people, Floyd fans, just don't want to hear the truth. Um, and the other truth is, you're, right now you're saying, <laughs> The fight would never happen. He don't want no parts of Pacquiao, and that's why the fight's never going to happen. Well, it's happening, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but it's not like Floyd chased this fight. He still didn't want this fight, and still don't. He was forced. Okay, forced. You know what that means? It means he was giving no other option but take this fight, or basically, you know, uh, get, get the fuck out the game. You know, retire. Uh, and then basically pay back a, a bunch of money uh, that Showtime advanced him. Okay, he was cornered, and Heyman wouldn't got his CBS deal. Uh, there was a lot involved here, man. Floyd had no choice. Go look at the ESPN, the timeline. They show everything. Floyd never wanted this fight. He never tried to make this fight happen in the whole negotiations. You can say, well, what about the Miami Heat game, the hotel meeting? Uh, I mean, come on. In the hotel meeting, he said, yo, before we end our careers, we need the fight. All that means is before we end our careers, we need the fight. Like, you know, not now, later, sometime, and then I'll find a way to get away from it then. All right. But no, that wasn't happening. 
There was no way out of it. He even tried to make the Kodo fight instead. But Showtime said, why would we make that fight when that's not going to make us our money back? Uh, sorry, bud. You're stuck. You have to fight Pacquiao. Deal with it. We talked all that shit. Now do what you said you could. All right. Chop, chop, Corley. You want, truthfully, you want my answer? Manny Pacquiao will whoop Floyd's ass. That's what he said. You read between the lines, okay? Floyd's scared of him. Floyd's ducking him. Manny will beat him. All right, that's his truthful answer when Floyd was in his prime. You know, now you hear Corley, because he's on the payroll, saying the complete opposite. You know what I mean? And it's not like the, back then... Uh, he had a grudge or something against Floyd. I mean, him and Floyd have been friends for over 10 years. You know, since right after they fought, actually. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's nothing like that. He just, he knew, well, back then everyone knew the fight. No one thought the fight would ever happen. Any insider never thought the fight would happen because everyone knew stylistically Floyd didn't want that fight. All right, and to this day, he don't want the fight, but he had to. He had no choice, okay? So when you hear Chop Chop now uh, get interviewed by anyone and he's saying whatever, you got to realize, you know, he has mouths to feed. He has bills to pay. It's his job to say that. I mean, it's hit literally his job to say that. He's a sparring partner for him. Do you know what sparring partners do? Like, if you, they're not just there to box with you. They're there to build up your confidence as well. Okay? Uh, you will never hear a sparring partner be like, Yeah, I'm sparring with uh, Jake, but, you know, Scott's going to kick the shit out of Jake's ass. It don't happen. You know, when Mike Tyson was going to fight Peter McNeely, Peter McNeely's sparring partners... We're saying McNeely is going to knock out Mike Tyson. That's just how it goes. Okay, it's just how it goes. So don't watch them Corley fucking like, interviews and be like, yo, Corley got the inside scoop. He's seeing how fucking skilled and, you know, how amazing Floyd is looking in camp. Damn, he said he's going to KO Pacquiao. I believe him because he's inside. No, no, he's just, pay he has to say that. If he don't say that, he's canned. Okay? Fired. Immediately. Immediately. Like, come on, man. It's, it's just common sense. You know? Uh, and he has to say that to Floyd, you know, all day long. Oh, my God. You're looking great. Wow, dude. Oh, my God. You're going to kick the shit out of Pacquiao. Oh, that move was dope. You know? Boom. Oh, my God. That punch hurt. You know, all that shit. You know, Corley's probably like, you're going to get your fucking ass whooped, bro, in his mind, you know. <clears throat> and even in Floyd's mind, he's probably thinking, damn, you thought that was hard. I thought it was pretty weak and that move. I think I'm going to get my ass kicked in his mind. Because uh, you got to remember, Floyd Sr. even said it on video. I, th this is Sr., he said, I think my son will pick Manny Pacquiao apart. But my son doesn't seem to believe so yet. All right, Floyd didn't all of a sudden believe that he can pick him apart either. You know, um, he just has to fight him now. So you know, Floyd. Then that was just that. It, that little snippet where Senior said that. That was just that was videoed like less than a year ago. Um, so you know, recently. Floyd, you know, recently his dad said that, you know, uh, Floyd doesn't think he can beat Manny Pacquiao. So Floyd doesn't think he can beat Manny Pacquiao. Why do you think he is switching up everything in his gym, trying to find some magic thing that might help him find some edge that doesn't exist to get a win? All right, he can win. Don't get me wrong. This is boxing. He can win. Uh, you know, everything might go perfect for him that night, and he can dominate, and Manny can have a bad night, and it can work out that way in boxing. But if they're both on their game, 
and Manny's on his game. For and, and Manny's like really never not on his game when it's a big fight. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Floyd is honestly screwed. He knows it. Even Chop Chop Corley knows it. Right now, he just can't say it. Okay? He just can't say it. Mayweather. <laughs> Truthfully, True. Floyd don't want no part of that pack. That's the truth. Really? Now, a Floyd lot of people are saying Manny had a horrible performance against Shane. It wasn't horrible. Style makes fights. Floyd would try to fight the same fight that Shane fought last night. But Floyd don't have the punching power that Shane Mosey had. It's the truth. You don't want no part of Manny Pacquiao. That's why the fight is not going to happen. You heard it from... He doesn't have the punching power to keep Manny off of him. To keep Manny honest. He don't. Corley knows better than anybody. Okay? He not only fought him, he's probably sparred upwards of a thousand rounds with the man. Okay? Uh... He, he, he knows the guy can't punch, you know, um, the guy that was just in the sparring video that was getting, you know, looked like a heavy bag in there, even though it was only 15 seconds, we don't know what happened for the other 20 minutes, um, has said that Floyd, you know, Floyd's punches ain't shit, and you saw in that clip, uh, that that, that was way at the end of the sparring session, which was like a 20-minute session from what I heard. It was 20 minutes. And uh, the kid was taking every shot clean. And, like, it was nothing. Like, it was nothing. You know? And that's after taking, you know, being gassed, taking punches for 20 minutes, trying to, you know, make Floyd feel confident. I mean, it's, come on, man. Yeah, that, and that's a young kid, uh, you know, just just turned pro, and you know he did, the kid did say he's never fought someone uh, who was uh, as skilled as Floyd, and that he was like an amazing boxer, uh, but he said he can't punch for shit, and that's in this camp, okay, this camp. So all that talk about increasing punching power and you know Heredia trying to uh, boost his punching power, um, either it well whatever it, it didn't work. It's not working. Whatever the guy just can't punch. Some people just can't punch. You know, uh, you got to remember Marquez was always a puncher, always a puncher. You know, I was ringside and watched him punch a dude in the belly and made him throw up blood. All right, uh, I've. I've seen Marquez fight live. The guy is a puncher. Always has been. You know, you know, for little guy, you know, 100, 130 pounds, he was punching fucking holes in motherfuckers. The dude could always a puncher. You know, he would always break you down brutally. Uh, you know, that's a different guy. You know, Marquez was always a puncher. You know, then you get him up, get some weight on him, uh, get him... You know, peaked up, you know, whatever Heredia does with his guys that makes them superhuman and, you know, like they're fucking created in a laboratory. Uh, but you get a puncher and then do that to them, fuck yeah, their punches are going to be devastating. But you take a guy who just can't punch hard, ever, then, you know, you really can't do much. I mean, you can actually only increase, even... Through them, athletes, uh, you can watch any of the, the like, PED documentaries. You know, they only increase things in, like, single-digit amounts. Like, uh, say someone's running a 100-yard dash, you know, and if they're up against the world, like, in the Olympics, um, it actually, the, the one case, it added one-third of a percent to somebody, uh, blood doping did, uh, added one third percent. And that was 
you know, I think it turned out to be like 13 centimeters, but that made the difference between that person getting first place or second place. It does that much, you know, um, but, you know, when you're already a puncher, it, it, it can make your punches just that little extra that you need. And then when someone is running into it and you're putting everything into it, the force is boom, you know. Uh, I'm not calling Mark as his punch a lucky shot, but the, everything coming together like that, that's like, you know, that happens so rarely is what, is what I want to say. You know, uh, that shit ain't happening again. You know, I'm sorry, Floyd fans. Floyd ain't going to get that, you know, he ain't going to get lucky. I'm not saying Marquez got lucky. I'm just saying Floyd ain't going to get lucky and recreate what Marquez did, even though that's going to be his only fucking hope. All right. Floyd has to win by KO or fight Manny better than Manny can fight, like right in the pocket and bang it out with him, like like Marquez and Morales do, and, and you know, these guys uh, e even attempted to do and then get blown out. Uh, he can't do that. He don't fight like that. If he does that, he is getting knocked out. So he's going to maybe try to get some respect early, feel the fucking power, and then he's just going to backpedal. And he's going to, you know, do a lot, probably do a lot of holding or try to hold. And when he does that reaching and shit and trying to grab Manny, this ain't my Donna. You better realize this is not my Donna. Uh, Manny might just take a half a step back and come, boom, land one right on him. Uh, and lay him the fuck out. You know, it, I... When do you ever see someone grab Manny? You know, Manny, if he's right in on you and he's just gloved up, you know, just sitting there banging uppercuts into you and shit, then, um, you know, if you hold him, he'll, like, let you for a second there and then just break and push off. But if he's out doing his thing, no one ever grabs him and holds him. So that, that pot shot and hold shit for Floyd ain't happening because, number one, he will time the pot shots and... Catch Floyd coming in, and then it'll he'll actually recreate the the Marquez KO on Floyd. Like Styles make fights, man. Like break it down all you want. Um, if you can't come up with, you know, technical reasons why Floyd is gonna win, you know, then you're just you know wishing. Um, if 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 you say, if I said to you, like, I think Manny is going to win, and I, I have given many, many style, style wise reasons and technical reasons in for fucking three, four hours worth of video, okay? Um, when I ask someone, why, well, why do you think Floyd's going to win? You, you know the most common response I get? He's never lost. Okay. Well, he mostly fought. Over the hill fighters or B level guys, not mostly, but that's that's basically that is what he did. Um, so no, but give me a re how's he gonna win? Uh, he's you know he's Floyd, he's fucking you know best boxer around. But how is he gonna win? Oh, um, check hook straight left hand. All right, how's he gonna land it? The, they're the, I never they can't answer it. You know the the <laughs> the most technical uh, answer I've gotten is that uh, sh check left hook right hand. All right, well you know uh, it, elaborate on that. How is he gonna land it? They don't even know that he should turn Manny to the to his left or turn to Manny's left. They don't even know that. You know they can't even say that. Um, it, it's it's amazing. You know why is he gonna win? Oh, he's he's forty-seven and zero. You know why is he gonna? He's TBE. It's it's fucking crazy, man. You know this is Floyd's boy. You know the guy who's saying now he's gonna win, but truthfully, like he said, truthfully, Manny will whoop Floyd's ass, and Floyd wants no parts of him. 
And he said, yeah, hey, I'm sorry, it's just the truth. <laughs> yeah, so uh, think about that one. All right, Thunderdome Boxing Talk. Stay safe till next time. Peace.